easy for you. So let's look at the equation here for modularity gain of joining community I with community J. M here is the number of edges in the graph. Dij is defined as the shared degree of community Ij and Di is the degree of community I and Dj is the degree of community J. So let's start with node zero. Now let's first find the value of Dij for all the potential candidates that could be forming a community with node 0. So it could be 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, and 0, 5. So an easy way to find shared degree, which is dij of community dij, which is, is to simply count the number of shared edges. So for example, in this case, dij for 0, 2 would simply be the number of shared edges multiplied by 2. So number of shared edges, we see there is one shared edge and it becomes 2. Now similarly for 0, 4, the shared edges between community 0 and community 4 is 1, which multiplied by 2 gives us, us the shared degree of community dij. Similarly here also the same number and here also the same number. Now what do we notice is that the first part of the equation remains same in all four cases. So here is one another easy trick that I would like to tell you where in such a case you can simply decide which community to join node 0 with is based on the degree of the community you are trying to join it with. So the lesser the better. So in this case we notice that 3 has a degree of 2 which is the lowest among all the potential candidates. So 0 becomes a best match with 3. Now let's consider node 1. Node 1 also has three potential communities that it could be becoming. It could become 1, 2, it could be 1, 4 and it could be 1, 7. Since with each of these three communities, there is only one shared edge. So one shared edge with 1, 2, one with 1, 4 and the other with 1, 7. We only need to check the degree of the potential candidates. So we find that 4 and 7 have the same degree of 4. So the modularity gain obtained by joining community 1 with 4 and 1 with 7 would be the same. So basically this is a choice for us. We could join it with 4 or with 7. So let's assume in this case we join community 1 with community 4. Now let's look at community 2 which is a very interesting example. So what happens here is that 1, 4 is already a community and 0, 3 is also already another community. So when we calculate the modularity gain of 2 with 1, 4, we calculate dij as the number of shared edges between community 2 and community 1, 4. So in this case, we find that 2 shares the node 2, it shares 2 edges with community 1, 4. So in this case, the value of dij would be 2 into 2. And degree of i would be the degree of node 2, which is 5 in this case. Dij would be, sorry, dj would be the sum of degrees of node 1 and 4, which is 7 multiplied, divided by m. So we will find that node 2 had gains the best modularity if it is becoming a part of node 1 and 4. Now we can repeat this process from node 3 till node 15 which will be known as the end of first iteration. At the end of the first iteration the graph will look something like this. Now we will repeat the same process from node 0 to node 15 again and if there is no change in the community structure we will call it the end of passage 1 where the nodes will be merged into hypernodes and then the second passage of the Louvain can be carried out.